Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And especially on this day, glory to the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit has united us today in taking up our cross. We say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. If the apostles had only spoken in the languages of the people, it would have been a miracle, and it would have been awesome to the people. But if they had not spoken the language of the heart, nothing would have come of it. For what was truly confused in mankind is the language of the heart. And what was today united and brought together and brought as one by the grace of the Holy Spirit is the language of the heart. For we can use the words truth, love, all these words, but they can be very cheap. Truth can mean whatever we assert it is. Nowadays we can even have alternate truth. And love can mean so many things. And sometimes it means nothing at all. But when we speak with the language of the heart, then truth is in verity truth. And love is in verity love. For the language of the heart of man can speak with the spirit of Satan or with the spirit of the grace of the Holy Spirit. And if we communicate only with words, and even sometimes with words and deeds alike, if we do not speak the language of the heart, if what we say does not come from the heart, if what we do does not come from the heart, then the language we speak is howling in the wind. Brothers and sisters, so many people are driven away from the faith of Jesus Christ, are driven away from the worship of the living God, because of the things we say and the things we do, and especially the things that the priest or the bishop say and do. But all of us need to learn the Holy Spirit to come upon us and dwell in our hearts and give us truly the language of the heart to speak and to act. For no deed has any moral value unless it proceeds from the heart motivated by love. Otherwise, it is just correct behavior by one standard or another. But true morality is a transformation of the inner person by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And the true word of God is preached from the heart, not from the lips. And the life of our Lord Jesus Christ lives in us in the heart and not in the, merely in the head. But we can have head knowledge, but we need to take it into the heart and have heart knowledge. So we can speak the tongues of men and of angels and have not genuine love and have nothing in the heart. Apostle Paul tells us that it's like sounding brass and a clashing cymbal. So today when we celebrate the descent of the Holy Spirit, let us try truly to open our hearts and let the Holy Spirit enter into our hearts. And when we speak of the faith, to speak the language of the heart and not merely the language of the tongue. Brothers and sisters, the transformation of the heart itself, the transformation of the inner person, without this we have nothing to say to the world. If we speak, we hear people preaching even hatred and malice in the name of Jesus Christ. We hear people preaching destruction, preaching wrath, preaching fear in the name of Jesus Christ. But they're not speaking with the language of the heart. They're not speaking with the language of the Holy Spirit. They're speaking truly from the fullness of their own hearts. 
but the Holy Spirit doesn't dwell there. A darker force dwells there. But let us speak only of gentleness and love and compassion and mercy and of an openness of heart toward everyone in the world. For the grace of the Holy Spirit truly is given to the whole world. There are plenty who will reject it. There are plenty who will reject the mercy of God. There are plenty who will reject the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, he stretches out that love over all mankind. And God grants mercy to all mankind. And the Holy Spirit grants the fullness of the faith to all mankind, even to those who will not receive it or who will reject it. But let us not be found among those. Let us rather open up our hearts now, at this moment, at this hour, during this liturgy, during this celebration of the descent of the Holy Spirit, and receive the Holy Spirit and our Lord Jesus Christ and even the living God into our hearts, that we might speak the language of the heart, and that our hearts might all be united so that we speak one language, of the heart. For this is the true message of the descent of the Holy Spirit, that he's given us a common language of the heart that unites us and binds us together in the love of our Lord Jesus Christ and the faith and mercy of the living God. Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in the Holy Spirit. Let us rejoice in the Holy Trinity who has given such gifts unto men. Amen. I